guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Learning the Kitchen, I want to share with you one of my husband's go-to favorite that I make for him. It's my what I call my chicken and mixed vegetable stir fry. It's really easy, it's really simple, and I we just love it around here. And it just takes a handful of ingredients, which I always happen to have on hand. So it's you know it's great for a weeknight, really quickly put together, serve it along with some rice, and you are in business. You're gonna start off with some chicken. I've got some chicken breast that I have thinly sliced, so you want to make sure it's nice and thin. I've got an array of mixed vegetables. I've got broccoli today, some bell peppers, carrots, um, mushrooms, snap peas. I've got some oyster sauce, some soy sauce, water, vegetable oil, garlic, and ginger. Now I've got some vegetable oil in this pan. I don't have a wok, so this is as good as it's going to get. I just have a really big pan for heating over the highest heat as I can get it at. I'm going to add my chicken. And I'm going to get this in one single layer, or I'm going to attempt to anyway. And I'm going to cook the chicken until it's pretty much fully cooked. In the meantime, I have got my water in here. I'm going to add in my soy and my oyster sauce. And this is going to make, you know, my kind of like a stir fry sauce really easy. This is kind of like our favorite version of this. And I'm just going to whisk that together really quickly and set that aside. In the meantime, I am just going to chop up a bunch of garlic. My husband likes it pretty garlicky, so I go with a few big fat cloves. And I'm going to chop these up nice and fine, and then we'll move on to the next step. My chicken's pretty much all cooked through. I moved my it to my back burner because my back burner is hotter. It gets hotter. So I want to cook this over the highest possible heat as I can because I want to develop color. Okay, another small drizzle of vegetable oil, maybe about a tablespoon. I'm going to add in my veggies. And I'm only going to cook these for about, I would say, two minutes. Because the thing about stir fry that I love and that my husband really loves is that everything is really crispy. Like it retains texture really well. There's no soggy vegetables. So all you're doing is really kind of stir frying up the veggies for a couple of minutes just to get rid of that like sharp raw bite. And now that you have that, let's see. I've got my ginger here. I buy like my ginger like grated in these little jars because it makes my life easier and because I never can get through an entire piece of ginger and when I put it in the freezer it gets really soft when I try to grate it it doesn't work as well for me so there's a quick little note there these are looking great maybe one more minute and we'll be ready to introduce them to their stuff I'm gonna add my chicken back in along with the garlic lots of garlic, ginger. This is grated ginger, so I'm not going to put as much as I would put like freshly chopped ginger. And I'm going to get all that mixed up in there and let that cook for about 30 seconds. Whoops. Get that sauce in there. Oh, the smell is amazing. I can actually see the smile on Joe's face behind the camera because this is one of his favorites. I'm going to let this cook in the sauce for a couple of minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to chop up some fresh scallions to put on top and we're done. Perfect. Oh, smells amazing. I'm going to add in my scallions. I love fresh scallions and Joe does too. And it kind of gives you just like a really nice fresh note to this. You can see the veggies are still crisp. You can see that pepper is still nice and crisp. The broccoli are still bright green. The sauce is nice and thick. I'm going to give this a go. I want to go for, let's go for just like a piece of chicken and a mushroom. I'm going right in the pan because my husband and I for dinner and that's it. So, and leftovers are going to be great tomorrow for lunch. But, so good. That sauce is a money maker. 
it's awesome. I absolutely love this. I hope that you guys give this one a try. It's really great to kind of make your own takeout, especially if you live kind of in the middle of nowhere like we do and it's kind of difficult to find really good takeout places. Play around with your favorite takeaway foods. Make them at home, make them yourselves because I guarantee you, I mean this tastes like a takeaway uh, chicken and mixed vegetable, but I feel like it's a much better alternative. It's You know exactly what goes in there. You've got fresh vegetables, you've got lean chicken, and I mean, it's that simple and it's that easy. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. LaraInTheKitchen.com will have you covered with the recipe. Leave any requests you have for future recipes down below. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye.